Hello everyone, welcome back to all the mods 8. Uh, there's a thing that I wanted to do really quickly, which is, uh, someone left me a comment about this. Which is, you know we've got our, blimey that was loud, you know we've got our pump, where was that? Over there. Okay, well I'm going to leave that. Yeah, you know we got our pump down here. Apparently you don't need these, these, um, what do you call it, these mechanical pumps. So we are going to get rid of those, because we don't need them. Yeah, this is so weird. Uh, what we can do is, uh, have I got any more pipes? We can take these pipes and you can just, di oh, that's not the right thing. Excellent. We can take these pipes and we can directly pipe out of this. Oh my goodness, how did I not know that? Ah, you guys are geniuses. Look at that! <laughs> it just works. That's so funny. Ah, oh, amazing. That's just pushing straight into our system as well. That must be quicker. Let's let's pop back to uh, our little house. And I'm going to see if... Uh... Look at that! That's way quicker. That's ridiculously quick. Uh, we have got a lot of stuff in here. We forgot. Oh, no, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> fluid XP. Fluid XP is fine now, so. All good. We can just lob all of this back in. I'm so annoyed at myself that I didn't know that that was a thing. Ah, oh, well. We got loads of lava now, that's what I'm trying to say. So, I've got a little plan for this episode. Why is this up here? Weirdo. Uh, yeah, the plan for this episode is we're going to go and get ourselves a little bit of a utility tool, which is uh, goodbye to the Aldermodium sword. We're going to get into Mahal Sukai, and we're going to get a Morgan, because the Morgan can have like a ridiculous... Look at the sugar cane. Amazing. Uh, yeah, Morgan can have a ridiculous... like. First off, the attack like range is really, really high. So we could probably get something from, like, maybe not that far, but something like that far with the Morgan. Um, plus, what, what else about the Morgan? Oh, yeah, it just has a really high attack damage, like way higher than the 16 we've got with this. Or is it 5? I never know how these two things work. Why, what's, why is there two things on there? But... That's um that's my plan for today. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to do it. Over here looks like a good area. I might do uh yeah, I might do a quick builder or have I got a destruction gadget yet? Uh, but what we can do over here, I might replace all of this this uh stone with a bit of dirt, and we can. Oh, they're gone. Nice. We can set up the pool that we're going to need right here. So I need to go prep a couple of bits, I suppose, before I do this. And then uh, we'll be right back. Okay, it turns out you don't need a lot of stuff to get this started, but you need a little bit. So you need this thing. Uh, I've got a book. Well, not bookmark. I need to find the control for this. Uh, how? And then category. Yes, I need to change that to something. Let's do six on the keyboard. Done. Uh, I've got like a keyboard on the side of my mouse. I'm just trying to figure out if that's the button. So if I do one of those. Okay, that's not the same keyboard. There you go. That puts down this like little blood sigil thingy. And then in there, we can put some dusts. And I think it's two diamond and one emerald from what I remember. Uh, I've got a ton of diamonds now. Like ridiculous amounts of diamonds. Not sure where I'm getting those from. Is it from bees? It must be from bees, right? So I, I know it's two of those and then it's one emerald. So can I do... Oh uh, yeah. I didn't mean to put my exchanging away. That's fine. 
Now, I don't know if this costs like a bunch of Mahal, but it looks like it is costing loads of Mahal, so we might need to go get some more Mahal. But what that'll do is it'll generate like a big pool, and then we use that pool to get the Caliburn, which is the precursor to the Morgan. And then we got a killer dog, and then we get a Morgan. So I need to get some Mahal somehow. Get it? <laughs> so I have a classic way of getting some Mahal. That's the, the number you can see up in the top left. And that is, if you go find a villager and get yourself a villager spawn egg, create a little villager spawner. Is there any over here? Flipping heck, he's quick, isn't he? Sorry, mate. Flipping heck. Yeah. Oh, there's a villager over here somewhere. Huh. Thank you. So we'll create a spawn egg off of him. And then um, do a little spawner. I have to go find a spawner as well. That's fine. We can go find one. And then with that spawner... You can put down some things which kill off the villagers and then <laughs> gives you Mahal and it just like increases over time. Uh, by the way, all of our Mahal has been sucked out because it's making the pool over there. So yeah, I need to probably set this up pretty quick. There's no like bad effects or anything, but you know, it's always good to just... I need one of these and then... Do one of those. Let's go feed this. We've got ourselves a villager spawn egg. I want to see if the happy birthday thing happens because it didn't last time. Happy birthday, it did happen. That's good. Must have just been a weirdness. Uh, and we got ourselves a villager spawn egg. So, spawner time. I'll set all of that up and then we'll meet you back. So I turned off uh, most of my... Oh, I could turn that one off as well. Nice. This one I can't turn off, you remember. So it's still loud down here. But what I have made is this area. I think if I turn this on right here. Let's turn the fans on as well. This fan is pushing all the way to this right here. And then I've got a couple of vector plates. So the villagers should spawn and then end up in this area. These three spots. There you go. We should get a lot of them. And they are slightly too close to spawn more. I think that's how many I could do. But what we need to do is I put the stuff away that I had. Dust. Iron dust? No, what's it called? in my house. So it's these ones and then I only need two of these so put those away. One and two. Put that on. One and two. Put that on. You can see my Mahal is going shooting right up. And then those are spawn in. I'm storing all of this in this attuned diamond right now. I did put a nether start on that so they will keep spawning. I'm just going to turn the rest of these on. Oh, and the other one down here. Just loud noises. And we're out of. And of course, it's raining. I'm trying to get away from loud noises and then it's raining. Brilliant. Is it night time? Fine. I'm going to have to sleep through the day. Right, there we go. Slept through the day, easy enough. So that is getting us lots of Mahal. And I think this thing should be completely full up over there. Nice. So you need 10,000, no, 5,000 Mahal from what? I should really just make the book. I always put off making the book, but I really should just make it be easy enough. There we go. And then in here, there is one for the Morgan. So if you are looking for the Morgan, uh, if I can find it, there's the Caliburn, there's the Morgan. So, uh, how do I go back? Okay, like that. Caliburn is the one we want. So, Holy Sword, la la la. Yeah, we need to... 
Uh, water. Okay, cool. Didn't know that. We need to chuck a diamond sword in here when we've got 5,000 Mahal. And you can see our Mahal is kind of going up quite nicely. And we are filling this up easy enough. It does take a little bit of Mahal for those uh, those things to work. So those two sigil things down there. You know, the blood things on the floor. Uh, but we get enough out of it that we don't have to think about it, if you know what I mean. So that's so 700. We want to get this to 5,000, and then we can make this Caliburn. Now, if I remember correctly, you need, like, Smite, because it needs to be, like, a holy sword. And Smite is, like, the best you can do. So, uh, yeah, I need to figure out... Oh, I might have some Smite, you know. Uh, hashtag smite. That's got smite too. It's not really what we want, but. Oh, okay. That was. Oh, it always freaks me out when that happens. Anvil. Let's quickly make an anvil. Plunk that back down. All good. We have got a lot of levels. I really need to sort that out at some point, but it's all good. Uh, so we also need to just try and get more smite somehow. So might. I think we might have to just... Ooh, steel... Steel leaf knives have got smite. Uh, yeah, I think we just have to enchant a bunch of stuff until we get smite. Might be the way to do it. And, oh, that's got loot in three. That's pretty good. Uh, I believe... Oh, just let me click on that one and press R. There we go. I believe we've got, like, a ton of levels, so we could just lob this in here with some lapis. We've got over a million lapis now. Amazing. Okay, so... Sharpness is almost what we want. I'm going to get a book as well, because... With just a regular old book, we should be able to... Let's not back, there's efficiency. It's less... Like, this resets for us now. So we've got fire aspect 2. Sharpness we don't really want. So we can probably get rid of that. Try this one again. Bane of Arthropods power. We might actually get a smite one at some point. Oh, you know what we should do? Near our enchanting stuff in here, right down here, we should have... Why are you not going in? You know, except from the front? That's probably turned off now then. I'm so confused by that. Uh... Curse of Vanishing. Uh, nope, nope. Sometimes we'll get one that has smite on it. Smite. What is it? Hashtag smite. No. Okay. We might have to... We could make another one of these enchantment factories. And then just chuck a load of books in there and see what we get. Might be a good idea. I don't think any of these are smite. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go do that then. Right, here we go. Uh, I've got an enchantment factory and an extractor. That way we can pull the smite off of... Well, I'm going to have to put it off of this one. So, do that already. Get a smite 3. There's the smite 3. We need this. Uh, next thing, we can just lob it in here, but we need some liquid XP, which we have got right here. We've got this whole tank full of liquid XP. In fact, it is full. I didn't realize that it was full up. Flipping heck. I need to put some pipe like upgrades down there. Really slow. I wonder if I can do add-ons. Just a speed, I think, would do it. So that affects this bit. 
It might not. No, it doesn't look like it. But it gets nearly to the top, and then... Uh, oh, that's a point. I need to send this up into there. What's that? Unbreaking. Not back. Yeah, not back. Soul Reaper grants one additional soul kill. Interesting. And we can just lob this in whenever. Uh, we don't really need this XP thing, but oh well. Yeah. I am just going to chuck these in like that. And then, again, I'm just going to wait until I've got smite. A good amount of smite. Because that way we can... Literally everything but Smite. Excellent. And we got ourselves Smite 5. I think Smite 5 is the best one we're going to get. Uh, oh, that's a point. Let me get rid of that because, yeah. I've set this so when this Golden Sword finishes, it shoots up into this. When this finishes and it gives us... So this one pops up into the chest. But watch this. That one goes back down into this. So we can use all of these to get... Some, like, decent sword enchantments right there. I am going to turn that off, though, because I don't want that, like... I could just leave it. No, oh, sod it. Let's just leave it. Why not? And that will just continue going until this is full up. I could make this a diamond chest, but I'm not going to. Because I can't be asked. Uh, that whole time, I was kind of clicking as well, getting my mahout up. If I use all of my Mahal, like if I go like this and it goes down to zero, it will actually use a little bit out of the attuned diamond. So this it's fine. It like we're storing it away and then we're using a little bit every so often. But I've kind of let it get back up to two hundred ish. And then I go click 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 like that. And now I go click all the way down to like that much. But I've been keeping an eye on it. Diamond sword. Uh, I'll just make a brand new diamond sword. And we'll enchant this one. Don't forget as well to put some nether stars in there before you uh, before you do your sword. So if you drop the nether stars in that thing there, and then you drop the sword in, once you've got 5,000 mana that is, or mahal, whatever you want to call it, uh, it will increase the initial cap. So if I look up Morgan here. So the, in, uh, sorry, innate cap is the thing. I think the regular innate cap is like 50 or something like that. Like if you just make one of these without putting nether stars in, it's not that high. It's pretty high. I mean, it's higher than what we've got here. But what you can make it be is like, 50,000 or something, so I'm gonna chuck in some nether stars and that helps. I'll show you what I mean in a sec, but if we come here, do one of those, cost five levels. I still need a lot of Mahal, but yes, this is supposed to be the, the lake from like Arthur, King Arthur, you know, the with uh. The sword in the stone and all of that back in the day. It's a pretty good story to be fair. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to have to wait here for a while. And get myself up to 5,000 Mahal in this diamond. Got ourselves the uh, 5k that we need. I think it's 5k. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. And we'll have to do a bit more. But lob in the... There it is to go find it and we got it Caliburn and we got a lot of innate cap on that we also need to go get a doggo so let's get us a doggo also I noticed my uh, Mahal goes down the further away from my villagers I am but if I'm over here it goes back up never knew that was a thing work work Diamonds. I don't have anything to like. I've got nowhere to put these people. Wish I did, but oh well. Right. What am I doing now? I need to go get a dog. I've come over to the tiger, the tiger biome that I found because I think there's some in here. Do dogs spawn in tigers? I assume they do. 
Over in the stead mine colony, I did find myself a doggo. Uh, you can stand back up and we can do a slash home. Uh, uh, he's disappeared. I thought you would come with me. Over here, maybe, or... I don't know, right here? Is he not coming back? Okay. Let's get a yoinker and then we can take him with us. Where's he gone? Is that him? He's got a collar? Yeah. Sweet. Right, where do we want to do this? Let's go hide over here because I don't want my uh, colonists to see. You you know what I mean. This is it's going to be a bit bit brutal, but... And there is the Morgan. Ah. So now, we need to kill a bunch of villagers. <laughs> this is not going to be good. Uh, but yeah, every villager we kill increases the attack damage on this thing. Sweeping edge might be a good idea. Let's see if we've got any more sweeping edges. Might have like a bunch. Sweeping. Oh, we've got loads. Whoa. We could probably combine these as well. One of those, one of those. Sweeping edge five. Let's take that one here. And then sharp. Sharpness. Sharpness five. That'll do us. We could do sharpness six, but I can't be asked. Probably should put looting on here as well. Looting three, looting three. This has only got looting three as well. I can stick this in here at least. Why has that not got... Odd. Oh. <laughs> Didn't think of that. It's going to get put back in here. It might be a better sword to, to use to be fair. Anyway, we can use these looting threes to get a looting four. Oh, and we broke it already. That's fine. We've got Morgan with looting four. Sharpness and sweeping edge. I might have to upgrade my uh, thingy down here. Right, so as you can see, after a few swings of the sword against the villagers, right here, are willing sacrifices. We have got ourselves 13 attack damage. So that's gone up from 10. Genocide, oh dear. So that is still only 13. Oh yeah, you need mana to do this. I forgot about that. So you can see down there I've got 500 mana pretty much. If I do that, my mana's gone down. But my attack damage has gone up. And the durability went up as well. So that's taken all of my mana. So I just put the all the upgrades that we can on that thing over there. And it just flings a bunch of them at us right here. Uh, and that means that our Mahal should stay quite high all the time. And it should be going up quite a lot. Looks like it is. That's pretty good. But I need to basically fill this up a couple of times. And then I can take a swing. And then fill it up again. Take another swing. Fill it up again. Take another swing. It does use the how you've got. So. I think if this gets up to 300 again. Or around this level. You see we've got 1500 there. Uh, there you go. Used all of it. Plus my Mahal up here. And that went up to 15 attack damage. So I'm going to get this probably to around 50. And then I'll meet you back. Okay, I went a little bit over. We are at 51.9 attack damage. Not bad, not bad. I can go all the way up to... 64... No, wait. Slap a comma in there. 640,260. If I wanted to. 
But that 50 took flipping ages because I have to wait for the cap to, or the thing up the top there to get to, you know, the max. And then I fill this thing up and I have to wait for it to get to the max again. And then I fill this thing up again, all the way up until 10k. Then I take like three swings and this empties out and so does my bar up here. And I get five damage. So <laughs> I'm not doing that for the rest of this time. What a lot of people do is they set up a macro where, I don't know, there, there's you can get a thing on online. I'm not going to post anything because, I don't know, the security of certain things you download from the internet. But what you can do is set that thing up so every five seconds it does a click. And then all you rely on is the Mahao you've got up here. In all the mod 7, I believe I had 10,000 or... Was it a million? I'll have to go and have a look. But I had a lot of Mahao at the end of the series. And what I was doing is I was just sat there. I had a dedicated uh, villager spawner. And it would... What the heck? Okay, they're... Oh, they need paper. Okay. Yeah, I had a dedicated villager spawner. They've got little speech mark things over them. And that dedicated villager spawner thing was basically there just so it could spawn stuff in with no AI whatsoever and I could just sit there, click every five seconds or four seconds. And I think I left it on overnight one time. So my, my attack damage was like 700 or something. It was quite a lot. But I think 50 is pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't know if we're going to need this for anything. <laughs> For now, it was just one of those things I was like, I should probably get the Morgan at some point. Uh, which brings me on to what I plan on doing now that we've got basically infinite power. Uh, which is... I think we've got infinite power. I should probably go check to see how it's how it's doing in the Everbright. This thing is still running, but I'm not sure how much it's running. Okay, 23. So it, it's still going, our infinite power. Well, not infinite, but 25 mil is being generated and 23 is going into this. So, how's this doing up here? Still full up. Unless I'm out of combs. No, I've got less than a thousand combs and it actually stopped. That is interesting. That means I don't have any... Um, anti no what what do you call it any radiation in my b place there we are yeah this thing is completely empty of radiation so i can grab like i don't know two stacks of these lob these in here maybe just one stack let's just do the one stack i think that'll be fine there we go we've got all of those in there let's let's try and break that now And it put a bunch of radiation into the air. I might put some more in there, just because we had a lot in there previously. Oh yeah, that seems to be enough. I do think I should get some more of those radioactive, or wasted radioactive bees. So, not like that. One of those. And I do have 2,000 white tulips. If I just lob these in my system, like this, they should... Ideally, I don't know if this is the, the case, back to basement, it should go back into our little compact machine right here. And these are now being bred up again. Perfect. It's because I didn't have those on my network, did I? Uh, where am I looking? Over, uh, over here. Zip. Yeah, I kind of set this up and then forgot about it. So I need to somehow get this into my network if I can be bothered to do that. I think I can't be bothered to do that. What I could do is set up a ton of white tulips and make this like a white tulip area and then send those over there and then we'll just get a ton of bees. But for now, I think that's that's a, that's good enough. Now, earlier I was talking about my uh, plans and I have a plan that involves the All The Mod Star. 
and that is I kind of plan on trying to automate as many of these things before the bedrock has been revealed. Uh, so these bedrocks are basically in here just to say like this is a replacement we're going to replace these later and then you can make the order mod star. Work in progress not yet meant to be craftable so you can't craft it yet. Ooh, jetpack would be good. I mean, we're going to get... How many antimatter do we have? Antimatter. We've got 10. We've got 10 antimatter. What the flip? We've almost got enough for an Aldermod star right there. What? Really? Flipping heck. That is a lot of antimatter that I didn't know we had. That is amazing. 10 antimatter. Whoa, okay, amazing. <laughs> well, we need 99 altogether to get an all the mod star. Uh, oh, no, ATM star, isn't it? Not all the mod star. Yeah, we need 99 to get a block because it's 11 per star. Whoa, I'm, I'm actually quite impressed with that. Uh, we also need nine of these creative essence, nine of these dimensional seeds. This one you can't even craft yet. I really need to go get a Patrick Star, which comes from Patrick B. I've got to go out into a warm ocean and then fish it up. I think that's how it works. I'll have a look, see how much time we got left on the episode, and maybe we finish off by getting a Patrick B. Okay, damn it, we're at like 30 minutes now, so I am probably going to call it there. But next episode, we're going to try and get as much as we can from... The all the mods star ATM star. Sorry, I need to stop saying all the mods because it's not that. Uh, that does, well, we've got Dragon's Breath. That one's automated now, so nice one. Piglet's heart. I've already made a setup for this in a uh, like in all the mod seven. So I'm probably just going to do the same thing. It involves getting a piglet and you just trap him and then you use. So I'm not even going to say. We'll we'll come back to that next episode. Nature's Ark, we're going to have to do a lot of blue skies. It's like the third blue skies we need to do. But you can resummon the same boss over and over and over. So it's not actually as bad as I originally thought it was going to be in all the mod 7. Cultism, we need to get back to a cultism because that's how we started the pack. And then I never did anything more with it. And I really should because this was going to be our ore doubling method. Or, or quadruple or sixing, whatever it is, you know. But we never got back to it. Uh, what else have we got? So I need to up my unobtainium. Rose, are, Rose of Oblivion, sorry. We need to do something for Rose of Oblivion. We flipping got the gravitational units already. We've got all, we can make three of them. How, how awesome is that? Uh, we could probably make everything here. Solar recharging unit. Yeah, we could do that. Overclocker, do that as well, probably. Singularity definitely can do that. Nearly everything here we could probably do, except for this one down here, the block of Carmenite. We have to do most of the Twilight Forest for that. But I'm up for doing that. I, I've been doing a lot of Twilight Forest recently, to be fair, so maybe not. But this one here, we have a load of 64Ks that we could probably turn into um, a 1048 mil. If not, we can just set it to make us a 1048 mil, and that'd be fine. Nuke, again, that one looks fine. Plants monitor is fine. And I think that's kind of everything that we need to do. We need to make some antimatter from the other sort of antimatter. And then this one might be a little bit of a pain, because that's 9, 18... 36 yeah 36 and then 36 times 2 added on to 36 so 36 times 3 yeah because each of these is just two insanium i might swap my thing over to do insanium let's just do that now and then we'll call it an episode because why the heck not over here so we can change this recipe here to be into this bit here and we are getting Inferium. I didn't realise that. So, 
Supremium. Just get a bunch of that out. Uh, like that. And then remember. There you go, there's the Supremium. And then we need one more recipe. And that does extract C. And then we do one of those. In fact, let's do it into the input. Like that. Let's grab those out and do another remember. There you go, that's in there. And then we can export eh, one of those. And then you hit apply. And then that just puts Insanium blocks in our system. Uh, that does mean we need to feed all the Supremium into this. And of course we can't forget to turn the block back into essence and the uh, insanium back into supremium. So that's coming in now. So we've got 84 insanium. Is that a good amount in oh, hello, insanium? Uh, so we need one, two, three, four, and then double here. So we need 12 per. So we need... Oh god. Maths is hard at this time of night. So 108 is how many we need. Right? Yeah. 108. Because we need 9 sets of that. I mean, we could just make the 1. All the mod star. In fact, the first all the mod star, we are definitely going to make one of the creative energy cells. Because that way, everything is easier. Anyway, I've waffled on way too much right now, so let's call that an episode. Uh, what episode is this? Oh, it's episode 40, so I will show my stats. Because I'm going to try and do that every 10 episodes. We are at 5.55 days. Didn't plan it, but that's a nice, nice number right there. Brilliant. So, thank you for watching, thanks for joining, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye. I've been neglecting the mine colonists for a little while, so just feeding them some diamond tools because apparently they can use those now. And that has got rid of that. I also need to do my builder, so I'm just going to probably give all of these things, although my mine also needs a bunch of well, a few bits.